I was horrified yesterday that Mr Costigan chose to release a photo of this young woman. And I want to thank those media organisations who chose not to publish the photo of that young girl. This young woman is vulnerable. She's only two months out of high school. Unwanted publicity stops victims of harassment from coming forward. Yesterday, I received another complaint about Mr Costigan from a young woman. This complaint involved a young lady who is now 20 but was 19 at the time. The LNP is investigating that complaint. And again, to, to protect the complainant, I will not be releasing any details in relation to that allegation. But I will say this, if my office or the LNP receive any further complaints relating to Mr Costigan, we will be referring them to the Speaker of the Queensland Parliament and, if necessary, to the Queensland Police. I do not believe Mr Costigan deserves to represent the people of Whitsunday. So today I am calling on Mr Costigan to do the right thing and resign from the Queensland Parliament. He has disgraced the office and he should go now. Now Dave Hutchinson would like to say a short statement. Well thank you Deb and good afternoon. Today the State Executive of the Liberal National Party expelled Jason Costigan from the party membership. The LNP fully recognises the significance of this action and understands that removing a sitting MP will make the challenge of winning the next state election much more difficult. However, we expect our elected representatives to meet the highest standards. Our priority will always be ensuring that we have the right people representing the LNP in Parliament, regardless of the political cost. And I commend Deb Freckington for a strong and decisive leadership in this action. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Over to you guys. We'll take a few short questions. Mr Costigan yesterday said that uh, he took aim at the LNP, saying that this was because he was sticking the boot in about Scott Morrison, saying this was all political. This is a really serious matter that we've been dealing with here, and it's all around values and morals. And like I said yesterday, Mr Costigan simply doesn't have the values and the morals to be a member of the LNP. And that is why we took decisive action. And that is why he is no longer a member of the LNP. Harry? Ever, uh, ever received a complaint about Mr Costigan in the past? Not that we're aware of. Are you expecting more complaints? Unfortunately, Sonia, that is what has happened in the last 24 hours. We've received this complaint, this further complaint. I have referred it uh, naturally uh, to the LNP and they will be investigating that complaint. But I will say this again. If we receive any further complaints, we will be recommending that they go directly to the Queensland Parliament and all the police. No, she hasn't. That, that complaint, uh, well, that is a matter of for the complainant, but she will not be going to the police. Is there anything sexual in this, um, in, in this uh, complaint? Is there anything sort of sexual in nature that could happen to Mr Costigan? I've been really clear. I'm not going to be commenting in relation to the nature of the complaint. But let me say this again. The, co the complaint that the LNP dealt with about Mr Costigan was serious. It involved a young woman and it was proven that, and it ended up or resulted in the fact that the LNP have expelled Mr Costigan because he simply doesn't have our values. And that is why he is no longer a member of my team and he is a no longer a member of the LNP. Why would the LNP even be investigating this second complaint if he's now been expelled? I mean, he's got I nothing to do with the look, party. The complaint came in before Mr Costigan was expelled and I think it's imperative that we do take these complaints seriously. Just sort of, I mean, you're not saying there's been a complaint, you're not saying the nature of it, what it's about, That's sexual correct. or any detail at all. Is that really fair to Mr Costigan to be just saying there's been a complaint and let guesswork more or less decide what people think of it? Mr Costigan has been dealt with by the Disputes Committee of the LNP. That has been put to a full state executive today, a motion to expel Mr Costigan from our party. And that motion has been passed unanimously by the State Executive of the LNP. What I would say, Ben, is this. 
I have said I have high standards for my party. I have high standards for my team members. I don't care about the political cost. This is about protecting young women and victims against predators. Aside from revealing the identity of the girl yesterday, what did you make of Mr Cox's response? Uh, look, that's a matter for Mr Costigan. He's no longer a member of my team. So. Did you encourage this him? Just in, in terms of reining him in earlier, obviously he was known to be seen in those photos of the, the bikini competition and does say on his Twitter profile that he's a, a bikini admirer. Surely that he should have been reprimanded a bit, a bit earlier before these allegations came out. Well, there's a couple of assumptions in that question that some of those things haven't happened. Um, so what I would say is this. So in relation uh, to one part of that is, is the Whitsundays is a holiday destination. I mean, there are many people in bikinis there. However, I have very high standards for my team. Mr Costigan doesn't meet those standards. As soon as I had the complaint, I directed that to the LMP. The LMP acted immediately. It's been about a week from the beginning of the complaint to the end of the complaint. We've taken the matter seriously. He doesn't meet our standards and he has gone. So has he been reprimanded in the past and what for? We are here, Harry, talking about a very serious matter that ends up with Mr Costigan's expulsion from this party. Now, unless there's anything further, I've probably I will only take, I will only take one or two Has more questions. This was he given a right of reply in this process? Yes, he was. But his question wasn't really answered. Has he ever been reprimanded? By the, in the past? By no. The party or by the party or by yourself? In relation to Mr Costigan's uh, serious allegations. No, no, in, any allegation in the past has he ever been reprimanded? So you're looking for private conversations between myself and party members. That is exactly for what I have dealt with as a leader with Mr Costigan. I will say this. The minute I had the serious allegation with a complainant that was prepared to come forward and talk directly to myself and the party, I dealt with it. I this is a serious complaint. I'm not going to trivialise it. I am... He does not meet the values of the party and he certainly doesn't meet the values that I expect of members of my team. And that is why not only has he been expelled from the LNP, but today I am calling on him to resign from the Queensland Parliament. Do you encourage anyone with other... Sorry. Yeah, Do I'll take this and then I think... other complaints about LNP members to come forward in the way that they've come forward, Mr Costigan, and will those complaints be dealt with in the same way? Well, naturally. I, I do think it's very important that anyone with a complaint against a member of a political party from both sides of Parliament or all across Parliament should have the ability to come forward. And I will say this, and let's hope other parties act as promptly as the LNP. Um, thank so you very much. Thank you. And opposition leader Deb Frecklington there speaking about the Whitsunday LNP MP Jason Costigan. The LNP state executive met today and unanimously voted to expel the MP from the party. That's over an allegation of harassment from a member of the public. Deb Frecklington also called on the MP to resign from the Queensland Parliament. Jason Costigan denies the allegation. Around 90